That brings us to this level. The first, uh, completely underwater stage, well, mostly completely underwater stage of the game. Pipeline Lagoon. Let's go. And let's go as Mario. Also, I saw a thing here. What's the thing here? Oh, the thing is here. My, uh, my perception of stuff is completely distorted. And I am not sure why that is exactly. Alright, so what have we got here? There's some shenanigans. I know, it's like shenanigans in this place, really? I, I would not have expected that with my own face. Also, you could totally uh, attack underwater as your uh, cat suit. Your game wants you to think, oh, there's stuff, you know, you just go along the level there, but if you go up at the place, you reach your uh, first green star. Now we're going to go along these here pipes, influencing directions and stuff. I get more time bonuses because, seriously, we want to ruin the economy with bonuses. And there's a checkpoint. Now, in the aftermath of the world here, we go up here, there's the stamp, and actually the stamp and uh, one of the green stars are kind of tangentially related, simply because uh, you need to go up where the stamp is to get this here cannon box to bring down here and blow this up. I know, most obvious thing. And now, just a free green star and tons of coins. Because every loves ton everybody loves tons of free coins, and there's even a stopwatch down here giving us a hundred extra seconds of fun times. Stuff up here. Get some more time bonuses because why not? And up here, most obvious thing ever. I mean, come on. How do you not see that, really? And up here is green star number three. And that guy had a bit of a rude awakening now, didn't he? Right then. Perhaps we can get to the top of the flagpole here. Get our one up for taking the cannon box with us. And get lots of score. What the hell? Okay, so now two levels are actually going to open up. Well, one will technically open up. And one that has already been opened up will be available to us via that pipe. And also that hilarious number of uh, green stars that we have now. That's, that's fantastic. So let's go into this pipe and go into one of my favorite levels of the entire game, actually. Mount Must Dash. Um, I'm gonna just go with the princess here. Not because you particularly need the princess. Just stuff. Also, there's a bell here. Which I guess is helpful because the third green star here is nigh impossible without a bell, so... There we go. So we're gonna stay on the right half of the track here. This is all... Let's race a thing and watch out for stuff. And the music is even from Super Mario Kart. Alright, let's see if we can't get ourselves a 1-up here. There's exactly 8 enemies here. Yay! Okay, now on to the second half of the stage, which here... There'll be a mystery box. Hopefully I can do this. Get back here! 
You son of a bitch. Ah, oh, well, I will have to do that on a return trip, and I'll just freaking, uh... Gamepad cheat that stuff, because honestly, I can't be arsed. So there's your stamp. And then... See, getting this uh, green star, the third green star, is sort of possible if you have Peach and you float at the right time, but uh, the cat suit just makes it easier, and they do provide you with one in the level, provided you can find it. But anyway, it's, it's too bad about Green Star 2, because I thought I was going to catch it all the cool guy way. But uh, then I just kind of disappointed myself, which not particularly something to be proud of. So I'll just go back and uh, and uh, get it the dumb way. So I will be right back. See, so you can. Uh affect the uh, bunnies with the gamepad and uh, you can just completely cheese your way to uh, green stars related to the uh, bunnies that way all right well now that we've got that situation sorted out there's a secret right here which just leads to a one-up and a nice view of the place and some coins, apparently. Not enough about that. We are now going to continue on the main pathway with this fun stage, Switchboard Falls. And we'll play as... Ouija Time. It's these things from uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Always the most fun time adventures. So we get a nice view of the place. There's the goal way down there. You gotta do all these, all this shenanigan in order to get there. Which I guess can't be helped. Also, I'm pretty sure. Could have sworn there's a tanuki in this level, but eh, whatever. A bell will suffice me. Even if these here bumblebees that seem like they're straight out of, uh, what is this? Oh, star! Well, at least let me get rid of that guy. And get, have me get rid of that guy fairly easily. Now we can ride on down here. And make sure to make your jump here, so that you can get into this here pipe. And it's going to be a sort of folly place. Everybody loves them folly places. I didn't get every single coin, because I'm dumb, apparently. But there's where the first green star lies. This puts you back out here at the end of the place where there's a thing, and... Checkpoint. So now, in the second half of the stage, it's more of these here switchboards. Now we're going to be kind of just avoid all the enemies here. And now we're going to head to the left and crouch here. Get ourselves the second uh, green star of the level. And now here's where the fun begins, really. Because you have all these things you would see at like a freaking car wash or something. I don't even I don't even know what the hell. Now we gotta jump over this thing. Or just completely ignore the jump over part. Oh whatever. Not like it's that big of a deal. Actually I'm for safety reasons, I'm going to get my other cat out. 
make sure to jump here. And that stops right there, so... There's your stamp. And the end of the stage is just up ahead. And gold flag! Seen lots of people have struggles with this stage, but... It's all about... Knowing where you are positioned in a 3D environment. So we're up to 75 green stars already, which is kind of amazing. That pipe just leads to the toad house over there, so screw that garbage. And it's it be castle time. Except it's not a castle, it's a train! It's the Bullet Bill Express. You know how in World 2 we had the Bullet Bill Brigade? Well, this is the Bullet Bill Express. Everybody loves them train levels, I guess. I don't know, maybe Selfie would like this level. But anyway, that's a real easy way to get uh, that there green star number one. I'm gonna get myself a Tanuki Leaf. I'm just gonna run around these these guys. And now we have these cat bullet pills, which are kinda cute. <laughs> What's well, not cute is me getting hit there, because I'm dumb. I are to dumb sometimes. Whoa! That that happened, I guess. Oh, there's that in there. Ooh, it's a Mega Mushroom! I didn't know this was here! Holy crap! That's amazing that this is actually here. I'm actually gonna wait for it to run out. So I don't want to destroy the pipe accidentally. I don't know if you can destroy the pipe with the Mega Mushroom, but I need to go into that pipe because that is where green star number uh, three lies. So I guess that's the aforementioned Bullet Bill Express. That guy had no chance. There we go, and it is boss time. Boss time against? Oh, it's Pom Pom. Pom Pom has been uh, training in ninja arts, apparently. He knows the ninja arts pretty freaking well. That was close. But you really don't give her a chance to throw her shurikens if, you know, you just jump on the one that's correct, which is the one that's a pink shuriken. If that wasn't obvious, then you probably should stop playing video games. Right then. Collect our change. And get ourselves a gold flag. You know, this is the second time I've completely accidentally matched the thing. The... the character with the Sprixy. By complete accident, I hit random both times. I don't know how this even happens, but whatevs. So the Sprixy is going to build us a pipe, a clear pipe that we will think leads us to World 4. I notice how I said we will think it will leads to World 4. That is, in fact, a lie, as I'm about to prove. Let's see, we're done with the castle here, but uh, we go into our stats here, and there's still one more thing that we haven't even touched, which is odd and strange, but let's go through here anyway. Uh, it's like a little ice island here. At 
Funkalicious music. So it's time for another boss, a banquet with Histocrat. And it's gonna be all sorts of fun. We'll play as the princess, of course. And I do believe if we go over here, this has a bell. So now we're double powered up here. And we're gonna ride our way down to the boss. Which is, this boss is actually kind of unique. I do have to give credit where credit is due in terms of some of the larger bosses. They're kind of unique. So the idea is you get up onto these things and it even gives you uh, bells at points so that you can climb up these here uh, snake things or whatever. He's just going to keep feebly dropping rocks. See, there's another uh, bell. I got it even though I was already doubly powered up. For those of you saying that uh, it's a shame this guy was not made more difficult, just you wait. And by just you wait, I mean wait about... Well, I don't know how many videos it's going to take me to get there, but, uh, yeah, something is going to happen. Trust me. But we have otherwise defeated the boss rather handily. And now we're going to get our second big gold flag in a row. That'll be awesome. Uh, no Sprixy attached to it, though. That would be too easy. It's just a regular old big flag. I guess Bowser's all about his own patriotism. Alright, so... This will actually conclude... Uh, World 3. Not that fake conclusion of a World 3 that we had from the previous level. Get this out of here, and open up that pipe, which will take us to World 4, which is where we will be going next time. See you then.